Thanks for checking out my new DJI Mavic 2 Pro first flight. So if you watch any of my videos, you know I had the Mavic Air. And when I did a wedding recently, I was a little disappointed the limited battery. It really kept me from taking advantage of some of the really cool, you know, quick shot modes that are available with the Mavic Air. So I said, you know what, maybe if I want to get serious about doing this, I need to get a serious drone. So I sold it quickly and got this Mavic 2 Pro. And I have to tell you, these pictures are just awesome. I mean, the Mavic Air shot in 4K, but the, just the quality, these images, I mean, just makes anything looks good. So there's actually a couple ponds over by my house. So this is interesting, I'm getting down and I get close to this palm tree. <laughs> And the sensors kept me from running into it. Love the sensors on the Mavic products, or the DJI products. Now, the camera allows you to pan and move it around, but at this point I'm just testing out the drone. So I'm actually moving the, telling the drone to spin. And I like going over to the water and seeing how close I can get. And I'm just amazed how awesome these pictures look. Now, right here, I mean, this is maybe 150, 200 yards away from my house, and my Mavic Air would have lost connection going this close to the water, just because the signal is, is a little bit different with the Mavic Air versus the Mavic 2 Pro. Just, you know, behind these houses, the Mavic Air just isn't getting this kind of connection. So, flying along. I'm excited tonight. There's going to be a SpaceX launch, and I'm hoping to get not over to the Space Coast, but kind of in that direction and fly the drone up there and see what it looks like so hope you check that out so now I see some trees and I say let's fly in between them so I took it down and then looking at it on the screen of my phone connected it just looks like a stick there's a tree but it is so clear looking at it afterwards on the computer or the TV. So I wanted to check out this pond made by the uh, Department of Highway Patrol or whatever and took it over here because there used to be turtles and rabbits and all kinds of stuff in this area and they just removed it because they said they needed a retention pond. Now, what's really cool that you do not get on the Mavic Air is the ability to turn the camera without turning the actual drone. So that's what I'm going to attempt to do right here. I was actually looking to see how do you change the image. That's why I paused right there, which I figured out, which I'll show you in a minute. Okay, so at this point, I'm not turning the drone. I'm just turning the camera. And that looks so clear, but if you notice, you see the landing gear in the upper right corner. It's kind of cool how the landing gear turns depending on what you're trying to do with the drone. So, you can turn all the way to the right, just make sure you're not aimed too high, otherwise you'll get your landing gear in the image. Not cool. Cut. <laughs> And I did not know there was that retention pond back there. Now I have to say the Mavic Air might have lost connection back here. I know it didn't want to go across the street. 
and it's not that far. It's just between the houses and and everything. It's had a limited line of sight. So right about here, I pause it and I make it bigger. And bam, I love how that looks. It makes my neighborhood look all fancy. Those pretty bushes and flowers. So I see that sign. I know it says welcome home or something. But I said, let's get down to it. And then I overshot it. <laughs> okay, coming back. Okay, I'm going to see how close I can get to that sign without actually being close to it since I've zoomed in the camera. And I have to say that's pretty sharp. Look at that. Now at this point, I'm still 15 feet up. So then I just take off and I said, let's see how far across the street we can go. Like I said, the Mavic Air, it didn't really want to cross the street. It was like very limited in terms of the kind of uh, distance I could fly it. I did have the uh, Mavic Pro, the first one. And I had that for a couple weeks and I just didn't feel like I was going to use it enough. Now, I want to be professional with it. But you have to test it out first. So, you're getting the experience my test flight. So, I'm going to just fly this out. And look at those power plants. So freaking clear. My Mavic Air didn't get that clear of a picture. So I'm just flying across the street, trying to see how far I can go. And it's like, what is that I see? It looks like an island. It looks like a swamp. I wonder if there are deer back there. So right about here is where I lost connection. Now this is maybe a couple miles away, but between the houses and everything, it automatically returned to home. So it's coming back at its own speed. It's nice is apparently I had it at the right altitude because it didn't act like it needed to go up any higher. And obviously I regained control right there. And I put it in sport mode and I just want to see how fast I can fly. So look at the solar panels. So this is sport mode, probably flying about 42 miles an hour. And I want to use the different trick shots. So I'm just bringing it back. Bringing it back. And I was like, let's go this way. I was like, Okay, that's nice. I don't really want to go over there. 
the base on my limited battery let's just come back and let's do some different trick shots so the first one I want to do is a boomerang I want to do it on this tree in front of my house so I selected the tree on the right not the palm tree the one between the house and the light pole and this is the boomerang feature now I think that would look good in a wedding Now the next one I'm going to do is I'm going to circle that pickup truck across the street. What's interesting is I try to do it at different elevations. I try to do it kind of high and kind of low. And I try to get it like like car level and it wouldn't do it. it was, the sensor said there wasn't enough room. So at this level, aimed down at it, it did it. Now what's interesting is that it's not really that low because you see it's passing over the trees. So this is probably about 20 feet up, which is still nice. This would take a very nice picture for wedding. And then I did a helix around the same truck. I just realized it went in the opposite direction. <laughs> not like that's a big deal. But that would be another nice image for a wedding. All right, now I want to do a drony where it just fades up and away. So that's me waving. And. Up, up, and away. Just kind of fades out. Okay, then I did a rocket launch, which at this point the battery power is pretty low. It said it wanted to return home. <laughs> so I'm not sure if this is a real rocket launch. Anyways, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, share. Tell me what else you'd like to see because I'm going to do some better videos than this. I'm actually going to the beach tomorrow and getting the rocket launched tonight.